years. This was my big goal for 2023. Like at the beginning of the year, I said, I want to hit 20,000 by the end of 2023. So it is crazy to me that we've hit it so early. We still have like four months left of the year. So that is amazing to me. I just want to thank you all so, so, so much for 20,000 subscribers. I can't even comprehend how many people that is. So thank you so much for the support. I am very grateful for it. Um, and I asked you guys what you wanted to see for my 20,000 subscriber special, and I gave you some options, but you guys came up with even better options. So this is actually something that was requested by somebody else, and I am going to be doing me answering the trivia questions, which I am very nervous for because, like, what if I look stupid? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really scared, but I hope that it's going to be fun. It's still going to be like a regular trivia questions video because I am going to give you the answers. Um, they are coming from Jetbook, the general knowledge quizzes, which is always what I use when I do like the 200 trivia questions videos. Um, but I think these are quizzes I haven't done before. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I'm really bad at knowing which ones I've done, but I don't recognize the questions. So we'll see. But, um, they each have 20 questions, so I'm gonna do 20 questions and try to answer them, and then I'll click and, like, to see what the answers are, and I'll read you the answers. So yeah, usually I would just go ahead and, like, say that I'm done with the quiz so that I see them when I'm making a video, but for the purposes of this video, I can't see the answers. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I feel like that was a bad description, but they are going to be super general knowledge questions, and don't call me stupid. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get started. Let me know if you would do better than me. So number one is... What is the only U.S. state with a Z in its name? Arizona. Yes. Okay, I think I'm correct on the first one. Number two. During which Catholic service would one receive a wafer? Communion. I think. Um, I don't really know how long to, like, before I say an answer, like if you guys are trying to answer them, but I don't know. I'll just go at my own pace. Okay, um, number three. What is the opposite of an optimist? A pessimist. <laughs> Correct, I think. Number four. It just says, what are these called? And it's, they're emojis. Okay, um, like three examples of an emoji. They're emojis. Number five. What is the name of Dr. Frankenstein's hunchbacked assistant? Oh, fudge. I, I had to read Frankenstein for my junior year of high school, and I can't remember. Hunchbacked assistant. Is coming to mind. I feel like it's Igor. I don't know. I think so. That's my answer. Uh, number six. What term is used to describe strong winds between 50 and 102 kilometers per hour? I have no idea. Um, strong winds. I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Number seven. Who proposed to employ the guillotine as a more humane method of execution? Who proposed to employ the guillotine? say Robespierre because I know that Robespierre was the like reign of terror guy in the French Revolution. Um, so that's one thing that's coming to mind. Another answer coming to mind is Henry VIII. And then also maybe 
John Guillotine. I don't know. The inventor. I don't know. Um, I'll say Robespierre, I guess. Okay, number eight. What substance could Rumpelstiltskin spin into gold? Spin into gold. What substance could he spin into gold? Um, I'm trying to think of something that you could even spin into Sure. 
state with a Z in its name, Arizona, I was correct, during which Catholic service would one receive a wafer Eucharist? Is that the same as communion? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not Catholic. Um, Eucharist, okay. Opposite of pet, optimist, pessimist, that's what I said, I hope. Um, what are these called? Emojis? <laughs> Name of Dr. Frankenstein's hunchback assistant. It is Igor. Nice. Um, what term is used to describe strong winds between 50 and 102 kilometers per hour? Gale. G A L E, gale. Good to know. Who proposed to employ the guillotine as a more humane method of execution? Joseph Ignace. Guillotine. I said John Guillotine. <laughs> That's close enough. No, I didn't get that one. What substance could rumble still skin to spin into gold straw? I didn't get that one. By value, the top fruit grown in India, mangoes. I was correct. Um, part of the body as bulbous or aquiline is the nose. That was a total guess. Um, Manet is often confused with Monet. I got that one. Although I didn't know his first name. Ed Eduard is his first name. What beverage is often described as peaty is scotch whiskey. Didn't get that because I do not know my liquor. Um, what dye is traditionally used to make temporary tattoos? It is henna. Got that one right. Uh, the racing event, commonly 110 meters in length, is hurdles. Okay. What band performed a song about a deaf, dumb, and blind kid who played a mean pinball? The Who. Learn something new every day. Um, what British political party is also known as the Tories? The Conservative Party. That might be the opposite of the Labour Party. I don't know. I should have what country suffered 100,000 earthquake-related deaths was Haiti. Okay, that's what I said, I think. Um, in cooking steak, well done, lies opposite from rare. What operating system has versions called ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, and lollipop is Android. Didn't even know that was an operating system. Um, and at what film festival could one earn a palm d'or? It is the king. Film festival. Okay, I did well on this one. How many did I get right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is not bad, right? Also, I'm under pressure because I'm <laughs> sitting here talking to you guys. But okay, let's move on to next quiz. Uh, number one, what is the world's most popular beverage other than water? Well, I guess it's number 21. Um, other than water, tea, coffee, I would say tea, yeah, or wine. Gondwana. Uh, 
supposedly had a moment of inspiration while 
sounds like nose to me. I'm gonna say nose. What marine creature has the largest eye of any animal? Um, I think that's the sounds like a noun, like the Amazons. <laughs> I don't know. Danube. I'm just thinking of all the rivers. I'll say Amazon, just randomly. Um, what movie featured the Randy Newman song, You've Got a Friend in Me? Toy Story. Mexico is 
is not considered part of Latin America. I would say Mexico City. Number 78. What object has both Naomi Campbell and Russell Crowe used to assault people? Like I'm all- 
opposite of solstice and marks the time when the sun is directly over the Earth's equator. Opposite of solstice, equinox. I think we're coming up on an equinox, are we not? I think so. What a French word means, here it is, and might be said by a waiter bringing you your food. Here it is, is like, voila. Pretty sure. Voila. What Olympic martial art is practiced by Vladimir Putin? Uh, uh, judo. It is judo. Sigmund Freud. Okay, I did pretty well. One, 
anti-Semite. Anti-Semite, I guess I would say. Yeah. Uh, what series of uprisings rocked the Middle East in 2011? The Arab Spring. say superwoman. Um, what country was once ruled by Robert the Bruce? Robert the Bruce. say Bavaria. Yeah, maybe. I One thing I will never understand is why we call like cities and countries different things in different languages. Like, shouldn't we all agree on what to call them? I don't know. Uh, number 117. What European soccer club has won the most champions league Manchester United is what's coming to mind. European soccer club has won the most Champions League titles. I think Manchester United is coming to mind. Paris, Munich, Barcelona, I don't know. I'm going to say Manchester United. Number 118, who is the patron saint? of romantic love. I'm gonna say St. Valentine. But I don't know. Um, I'll say St. Valentine. Number 119. What type of plane made its first flight in 1939 and was first used commercially in 
I didn't, I don't know. Um, I just, I hope that you enjoyed.